It's a house. A house. Um, that I see a lot. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this house. It's right on the beach. Mm -hmm. Describe this place for me. What does it look like? It's got the uh, wooden ladder going down to the sand. Mm -hmm. It's a two-story, not big. Mm -hmm. Just four rooms, two at the bottom. There's the porch. There's those chairs, big chairs. Mm -hmm. Look around this place. What else does it look like? Um, inside. Mm -hmm. um, it's just white furniture everywhere and glass mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. Is this a modern house? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like a modern house. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's anything interesting in this house. It's a little bit different than any other house. Look around and see if this house has anything different. Mm. What do you see? Just like a big bed. Mm-hmm, big bed. The normal kitchen. Mm-hmm. Stairs upstairs, and the balcony. Mm -hmm. um, there's plants on the balcony. Very good. Let's go downstairs and see if there's anything interesting on the beach. There's big waves. Mm -hmm. I think I saw a dolphin, not sure. Mm -hmm. Look up in the sky and see if you can find a big, white, fluffy cloud. Can you find one? Mm. You know at certain times of the day? I see a rainbow. A rainbow, beautiful. What else do you see? like bubbles type mm -hmm. thing. Where it's do you see these bubbles? They're in the sky. All right, let's find out what these bubbles are. I want you to float up to them and see what these bubbles are. Mm. No, I just see the bright light. Mm -hmm. It's like very bright from the sun. Mm -hmm. What else somebody put a cone on it and shine it on me. So let's follow that light. Float up to that light. Tell me what happens. It keeps going up like, like an infinite light of some sort. Mm -hmm. How do you feel in this light? Mm -hmm. Keep following the light. Allow that light to take you. Feel yourself in that light. Give me all of your feelings, all of your emotions. I just don't see anything right now for mm -hmm. some reason. That's okay. You don't have to see it. I want you to feel it. Um, what does it feel like to be in this light? It's very good. Mm -hmm. um, Let's enjoy that light. And as you're in that light, do you feel any movement? Right now, I'm just... Where are you? I don't know, it's just like some huge gigantic flower made out of light and the light is pouring out of it like it's made out of rays of light mm -hmm. describe that flower what it is like a lot of petals around but petals are made out of streaming light mm -hmm. yellow and orange at the end mm -hmm. and this thing in the middle you know i don't know how you call it in english anyway <laughs> it's just streaming up mm -hmm. like shining all over 
Does it have any any more colors to it? I think I'm flying in space. I see some planets. All right, so let's keep flying and tell me everything that you see. Describe everything to me. Well, now I see the sky. Mm -hmm. But the clouds are so strange. They're just like going in zigzags thing. Describe all of the clouds, what they look like. Why are they strange? They move quickly and they look transparent, like there is a pattern to them. Mm -hmm. What else? Like in the waves. Mm -hmm. Are they moving in any particular direction? You know, I'm observing some planets. Mm -hmm. It's just a funny feeling of uh, some huge planet spitting, and I'm like levitating in the space looking at it. Mm -hmm. There's some blue and purple diamond shaped energies. Keep switching all over like I can't mm -hmm. concentrate on one. Well, whenever you pick one, whenever you see one that you like, pick it and just stop it right there. You're being given different things to look at. Just pick one that you like and let's go with that. What image did you see? Right now I don't have any image, I'm just... Blank red. What is it? I don't even see anything. Mm -hmm. Go back to one of the images that you. Then I see the heart, that the heart is made of two hands. Mm -hmm. And another crazy flower I've never seen before. Or. What else do you see? Yeah, there's like flowers of different geometric shapes. Mm -hmm. And there's white light around them. What is this? So focus in on these flowers. Focus in. Get closer to them. Mm -hmm. And tell me more about them. There's a purple one. It has two rows of petals. Mm -hmm. And the fluffy little stings in them, like mm -hmm. little fluffy balls on top. How big are these flowers? They're huge, but they're just... They're not attached to a stem, they're just floating. And they're just floating? And okay. then they're splitting, and then I go further. Mm -hmm. I'm like flowing in between the splitting flowers and some sort of tunnel. There's just different shadows of people. Let's find out what these are. And then I'm like in some sort of vertex of uh, just like a um, purple light. Mm -hmm. You have the ability to stop any of these scenes and observe them more. When you see one that's interesting, just observe it slower. What else do you see? For some reason it stopped. Jeez, mm -hmm. I think I need to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ridiculous. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch your shoulder in a moment. Keep your eyes closed. Okay. Did I even go into deep thing? Mm hmm I wonder about that. No. Mm -hmm. I'm going to touch your shoulder. When I do, it's your indication to open your eyes. Be there now. Look around you and tell me what you see, what you experience. Allow the images to come. Where are you? Still 
Okay, now there's a circle, a circle. dark green. Mm -hmm. It's like a flame. Okay, now there's a tunnel made out of rotating light. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing that. I don't see anything anymore. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to just drift through this space, seeing all of these beautiful patterns. What do you see next? Allow the images to come. I see like circles. Circles? With the, uh, energetic lines like energies around them like a sun rays. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. We're just like a sort of a vertex of spinning energies everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now it's like the water, it spins and mm -hmm. observe it. And then when I want, I can try to go inside. I just like when thought comes, let's go inside. And I see so many stars in the dark. They're all coming at me. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. How does that feel? It feels very good. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm floating. So let's go to the place where you come from. Allow yourself to be taken to the place where you come from. See yourself going there. And arriving. I'm in a big cloud now. Mm -hmm. Allow that cloud to take you. What is this? Mm -hmm. It's like a cave. A cave, very good. Made out of. Actually, the whole planet is white. Mm -hmm. Snow. Made out of um, ice and snow. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Oh, there's uh, people walking around. Tell me what they look like. You know what they all look alike? They're just black, robotic. They're robotic? She's, I have the same robotic legs myself. I'm black, so... Mm -hmm. What do you I'm, look like? Um, I have like, um... You know, the spacesuit with that thing on top of your head? Mm-hmm. Like a helmet? Yeah, like a helmet that I'm wearing. There's a glass and you can open it and close it and... Mm -hmm. And it's black? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're all the same, they're just like walking around like so busy. What they're doing. What does the body look like? Pretty much like a robot, it's like um um you know, everything in squares and uh mm -hmm. shapes. Mm-hmm. Does the robots have any type of clothing or anything to distinguish themselves from one no, another? No, I can't tell them apart. Mm -hmm. Like clones. They're like clones. Do you feel like you're a clone? How do you it feel? says no for some reason. Okay. So let's find out what makes you different than the others. Okay, okay. That's yeah, I'll say whatever it says to me. I am a monkey. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, from different planets? Mm -hmm. What? You're a monkey from a different planet? Okay, Tell me I came more. here to research. Okay. Let's find out what you're researching. What life is all about here. People are struggling. Mm -hmm. Trying to get to understand what they're struggling with doesn't calm yet. Mm -hmm. 
So look around you. Let's find out what this struggle is all about. Here I see a monkey holding on. A big suitcase. I'm sorry, just too funny. Mm-hmm. A mo monkey is holding a suitcase. So mm, yeah. you're just traveling. You know, there's. Huh. There's another creature with the funny hair sticking all the way up, mm -hmm. out, like rays, like radiating something. Mm-hmm. What does this creature look like? It's all brown. It looks like a monkey, but mm -hmm. it's got this crazy hair. Crazy hair? Where do you see this monkey? I just, just look at it, and when I looked at it, the black people disappeared with the planet together. Mm -hmm. So what do you see now? Mm, I feel like blanks in between the images. Mm -hmm. Can't really... I don't see anything right now, I'm trying to focus. Allow the images to just come. The more relaxed you are, the more information you'll have. Relax your mind. There's a shadow. Mm -hmm. I said, it keeps telling me serious, serious. Mm -hmm. So when I say the word serious, do you feel that that's where you're from? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's. And now I see a planet. Well, what does this planet look it's like? It's light blue and it's got. See, it's almost like transparent and there's. There's like things formed out of ice, like. like um, spikes on it all over. Mm -hmm. Made out of ice, transparent ice. There's like crystals. Awesome. Get closer. If you can, touch it and see what it feels like. See if you get any reaction from these structures. They're very small, they're like glass. Mm -hmm. Can you communicate with this glass? It tells me you can see the future. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we can see. Look inside there and see what you could see. I see asteroids mm -hmm. shooting from one block where I'm going. Mm -hmm. it going I get... Where are these asteroids going? Just so stretch. I see Earth and then I see like in people on the news talking about it. Mm -hmm. um, what happens And there? then something makes it turn in the direction away from the Earth. Mm -hmm. Actually, there is some like UFO things. Mm -hmm. They sand, they have like a cloth thing coming out of the, their flying thing, they're flying and mm -hmm. it shoots this powerful rays and it redirects the asteroid. There's different devices. Mm -hmm. Sick. Wait a minute, I'm inside one of those things, flying somewhere. Alright, so let's see what you're doing. You're inside of the ship? Yeah, it's like a living creature ship with the... with the little tentacles. Okay, describe yourself for me. <sighs> Imagine a mirror in front of you. Well, yeah, I see the eyes. What do the eyes look like? Pretty big and round, and I can see them all around. Mm -hmm. It's not like they're hidden inside the mm -hmm. skull. So they're like bulgy eyes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
What is that? I'm all kind of soft, but I got you have a tiny, t t tiny tentacles mm -hmm. on me. I can, I'm like a bird. I can fly. It shows me I can spread the wings and fly. Mm -hmm. But actually, I'm kind of still. I don't even move. I just spread the wings and fly. Different planets. What does your body look like? Is it a hard body? Uh, it's it's soft and I have a huge tail. A huge tail. The f it's just the fluffy little spikes all all on my body. Mm -hmm. What does your tail look like? It's really crazy. I'm on this planet when everything moves, even flowers have eyes and. <laughs> huh. What are you doing on this planet? Research it keeps coming to me. Research, research. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what you're researching on this planet. Life. Life. Mm -hmm. Is there life on there besides these plants? What kind of life? I have a journal to record. You have a journal to record it? Evil creatures are good creatures. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you consider yourself to be? Good. Good. And, um, there's this green bird came to me. Kind of looks like green. <laughs> it's got the. Um, what does it look like? It's green, like green from the cartoon, but. It's not the same, but it's got the body of a bird. It's big, like mm -hmm. me. They're mm -hmm. staring at me. They, they're all they're all like this. Mm. These green birds. No, I see another one hanging down from the tree. With the looks like half lizard, half half lizard. Yeah, actually, it looks like that. It's like a lizard with a long tail. It spins all around the branch and it hangs that way, and it's got. Um, <laughs> no, he looks kind of evil. I'm afraid of coming to him. Mm -hmm. Can you connect with these creatures telepathically? There's a special red flower they're telling me on this planet. Mm -hmm. It's glowing mm -hmm. with energy. To give Earth what it needs. Mm -hmm. To give Earth what it needs? What it needs mm -hmm. now. Multicolored energy, rainbow air energy. Rainbow energy? Actually, it tells me that's why I saw the rainbow in the beginning. Mm -hmm. It surrounds the Earth. To connect people with all the living things. All around it. Mm -hmm. So people feel as one mm -hmm. with the nature. How do you get You're this? chosen. It just makes me say these things. Mm -hmm. Go yeah. ahead. Say exactly what you're being told. You're chosen to be here now. Shine the vortex of energy that you collected in space, all the multi dimensional colors to show them all around the planet needs help and. More people are coming to connect with you, Oksana, mm -hmm. to, to tell you what the truth is all about. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to connect directly to the source of what is giving you the information?
Would you allow? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to connect? It says no. Mm -hmm. Not for now. Not for now. So, would this information continue to be given to Oksana so that we can understand what? It's screaming yes okay. multiple times. Okay, so let's allow this voice to give you all of the information loudly and clearly so that all of those on the earth awakening today hear what they have to say. What is the message to humanity? Light. It's, it's all around you. Think about it and absorb it. It would help you shine. It tells me I'm, you are a star seed. Mm -hmm. Not from here. From somewhere else. From somewhere else, from Sirius, it says. Mm -hmm. Constellation. It's a word. Serious constellation. Something. Dragons attacked. Serious. That's why you, meaning me, decided to reincarnate to incarnate a nurse. Others in your life, not from your planet. You're here to help them. You will live and help from now on. You've done enough suffering. You are the one to help. It's, uh, How can Oksana help? In what way? Use the breath to take it deeper. Okay, rainbow light, you possess the rainbow light. You have it in your hands. That's why you, the light is shining right now from your hands too. That's why you feel this crazy pulsation in where your hands are touching, mm -hmm. middle body. Mm -hmm. What's coming out of the hands? It shows me. It shows me like a round source, like it's some sort of mechanical thing inside my hands, mm -hmm. like a little box, but in the shape of a round box, mm -hmm. and from it, in different direction, but it's, vib it's vibrations like waves, mm -hmm. the multicolored lights, like a rainbow shining everywhere in different directions. Mm -hmm. Use it. It says use it. What is the use for these for these uh, energies? This rainbow energy. Yeah. 
you have to figure out yourself. Mm -hmm. huh. Well, look, you came to figure out. Mm -hmm. Will this be done individually, person to person, or for the entire planet? How strong is this energy? It shows me the planet says planet. Mm -hmm. Lots of... Huh, it says I used to be semi-robotic creature collecting the light. Mm -hmm. And now the army of Voss came here. Tw it says the word twin soul, twin soul. Me, I, I will meet twin soul who mm -hmm. will tell me how to use it. Mm -hmm. My mantra, the mantra I will you meet in the future. Just follow the heart to find out. Mm -hmm. That shows me the big green heart. It's like an oval green light. Now it says that my hands actually activate my body, that's why I feel like at night my body gets out of the shell, that's what I feel and the reason why I feel it says, remember you told your husband that you felt like your body was plastic because it is plastic and serious mm -hmm. It's hard in reality, your body was, and you still remember it. <laughs> like a robot. Yeah, like it shows me black robots. Mm -hmm. It tells me that's why I like white color. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because I know the white little light is inside me, even though I'm black. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't like doing my job because it's the planet I live in. It's kind of not interesting. There's no, there's no pretty flowers or anything. That's why I dream of them. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep seeing them when I want to move somewhere else where the flowers are. That's why I want to live in tropical climate to see the big beautiful flowers and leaves and it says my 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 sickness comes from from the from the what from the uh, from the cold because my planet is cold too and I don't like it mm-hmm was the planet actually cold or was it crystals? Or both? Cold crystals, transparent blue. Mm -hmm. It's black robotic things on it. From it's from serious constellation. Mm -hmm. I mean, were you chosen to come to the Earth? Or were they, was that a mission that you're on? It says mission. A mission. What was the purpose of this mission? Shine the light, the rainbow light. To shine the to rainbow. To come to remembrance about who I am and tell others. Mm -hmm. You're to be a messenger about this information? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It shows my body. Uh, yeah, 
was activated, it got it lights up with different colors all the time. Mm -hmm. It just when people need me, they intuitively come to me, mm -hmm. and then I heal them with the light, just by talking to them. Mm -hmm. mm. Did did like you be you? Shows me the shows me babies inside me, and said those those children you have they shine the light the same light you have. Mm -hmm. But they're from Earth, though. Mm -hmm. Why did those babies choose Oksana for for being for their mother? They took your light. Mm -hmm. They use it and they shine it. They love you very much for who you are. What was the soul plan for her being triggered at this time with her spiritual awakening and Kundalini? It's your time. Mm -hmm. Was it actually activated by the x-ray or was it just her time? We've done it to her. Mm -hmm. We had to do it. Why is that? She wasn't waking up on time. Mm. Why is it that she needs to wake up now? What's going on now? What's happening that she has to wake up? The big aura mm. around the earth, shining blue. Mm -hmm. But in between, inside, there's vibrating colors. They need it for the Earth's expansion into different dimensions. Mm -hmm. For different Earths. The different, there's so many, is there five of them? Five of what? Earth-type planets. You go or you don't. So wherever you think is where you're gonna go? You choose mm -hmm. with a thought along. Now you where said, to go? So you said something about five. Are there five Earths? Keep showing me five, five, Earths, yes. Mm -hmm. What's in the, each one? The different mm -hmm. Earths they have. It depends on vibration of the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Lower dimensions have poor, for life, mm -hmm. not as vibrant and beautiful, more struggle. Mm -hmm. The higher go, the more light of the rainbow around it. The higher the frequency, the more light penetrates every living creature, makes everybody be kind to each other. Mm -hmm. So the earth that Oksana is living on now, which one is that? Jesus says five, five, five. Is, uh, she's creating, she's in the process of creating the fifth dimensional earth around her life. Mm -hmm. In her life. Mm -hmm. She's working, we're helping. Downloads, helping with downloads. Mm -hmm. Does everybody create their own earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. you, you actually can still be with your, be with your relatives, but you can be living on a different planet. Mm -hmm. Earth, but you can live in parallel mm. in a higher Earth dimension mm -hmm. or lower, because then 
you have to catch up with one another with the lifetime spent over you catch up and go to high dimension thank you it shows me like um earth is <sighs> this planet planets looking like earth in the pyramid structure like it's a way up mm -hmm. and the highest is closest to the source okay the big shiny light that's so good tell me more about this new earth in the fifth dimension beautiful it's uh, this mm -hmm. there's always it's a moderate climate mm -hmm. there's no seasons no seasons no time no time people 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 go in groups each group does something for the other in exchange nobody's hurt Nobody's hurt. No sickness. You can fly with thought along. Reach for different stars. Does everybody get to go on this earth? Different people at different times. Mm-hmm. Will eventually everybody be going on this earth? That's a plan. Mm -hmm. So what happens now to the earth as we know it? Many people are afraid of flooding, tsunamis, earthquakes, volcanoes. Even if you live by the ocean, mm -hmm. a big lake, mm -hmm. That's a possibility mm -hmm. of the earth shifting. Yeah, there's something inside the earth that needs to shift. Sometimes the fluids inside it need to shift to readjust. Mm -hmm. But um, if you're helping others, you are in a high vibration that's not going to touch you. Mm. So, for example, circumstances will lead you to not to be touched. So, Oksana wanted to move to Florida to enjoy the beautiful flowers, but she was concerned mm -hmm. about the tsunami wiping out the state. What would you like to tell her about that? I just saw some land going under the ocean there. Some land going under the ocean? Mm -hmm. Yes, so it's right by the ocean there it just disappeared down I see souls flying up souls are flying up mm -hmm. they're happy to go to the source they're happy it tells me uh, you'll know when you time to go you choose when to go mm-hmm because you're going to be living in a different reality. You're going to be in a different reality? People choose when they're done with the mission. Mm -hmm. Nobody's hurt. You just leave, say goodbye, and leave. But many people are concerned that if they're going to be there's going to be these earth changes that they're going to lose their families. They're going to be separated from their families. Families come together to help. Shine the light. Mm -hmm. They connect it anyway. And then know it subconsciously. Mm -hmm. It's no big deal. For evolution of a soul to disappear, but 
do you reappear? How do you reappear? Reincarnation. Ah, okay. But not in the same lifetime. No. You still meet... You still meet up there. Mm -hmm. At the highest level you'll meet and you know it. Mm -hmm. It's... You're still me. There's gonna be no grief at some point. Mm -hmm. When you are, when everybody is one and awakened, you lose one, you don't grieve. Mm -hmm. You know you're coming to see them at some point. Uh, is there mission, a mission? Everybody has a mission. Is there a timeline as to when this is going to happen? This new earth and the shifting? So shifting now, shifting now, shifting now. We're already shifting. Yes. Mm -hmm. It shows me some waters moving mm -hmm. inside. Oh, no, it's outside, but that's... Oh, I see there was a breeze like a, like a person. It's a person? It's like a person. It can breeze, it does. Mm -hmm. It just, I think it's like not, it's an object, but it's not. Where is this? It's beautiful inside, it's got all multicolored energies, energies mm -hmm. are given to people, they just don't know, they're... Hmm. They breathe the energy in every day. They breathe in. on earth. Mm -hmm. But it's invisible, we don't know about it. No. It's by design. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that's causing some of these energies to be held back, for example, because of all of the technology that we use with wireless and Wi-Fi. Are any of these affecting these energies to awaken? Bad entities? Bad entities? Creatures. Creatures. Trying to have power over people. Mm -hmm. Um waves coming from oh, it's coming from devices from media mm -hmm. it's just poison it's poison apparently. so the when we turn on a TV set for example yes what's coming out of that TV set it's like a flame of dark energy a flame of dark energy it sucks your energy out. Mm -hmm. What You're else? Lifeless. Then. Is that why people kind of look like they're comatose in front of a TV? Hypnotized. Hypnotized. You just run down like a battery. You have to recharge. Go into nature. Swim. Mm -hmm. Touch the ground. Remember who you are. You're not. Mm -hmm. He, everybody's like a robot, just like Oksana mm -hmm. was in that. So that. That's why she despises it so much. What else? What other devices are hurting the humans? It shows me big towers with the, the lights, the wires. The, <laughs> big towers with the lights? All electricity we generate, that doesn't come from natural sources. Mm -hmm. Strains power. They, it's something about the damages electricity in the body. They, what, I don't know what it's talking about. It's just some electricity. It tells me that's what you feel right now because I, I feel numb. Mm -hmm. I feel so numb with needles everywhere. And it's coming from the the poison of the electricity? Yeah, it says that this is what it does to you. It's just molecular level degeneration. 
the culture generation, the muscles, mm -hmm. everything you have to recharge. You're not damaged, but you have to recharge every time. He uses the vice. Okay, so I don't use the. Stay away from the phone on you. At uh, don't have it attached. I guess. Don't have the phone attached to you. Yeah. In what way? On your on your head. <laughs> it's kind of laughing now. On your body. On your body. Don't put the phone on your body. Yeah. So keep it somewhere else. It irradiates all the time, even turned off. Mm. It irradiates. She keeps coming up. The bad entities tell her about bad entities. They, they could manipulate the devices and mm -hmm. suck the energy out of people through them, make them robotic. Mm. So it's just saying they can control their minds because people are not conscious. They're distra distraction is a big thing. Mm -hmm. What would we do with our phones when we need to charge them? Where do we put them so they don't drown our drain, drain our energy? Just somewhere away from you, but you can use it. Mm -hmm. I make sure you. Have a calm moment of meditation to come to senses to act, to turn on your consciousness. Mm -hmm. Thoughts, be aware of your thoughts. You are not aware of your thoughts when you're watching something. It's like a movie. Mm -hmm. You're not alive really fully. What else do you get? Uh, something. Something is like sitting on my chest. What is this? Let's find out what that is. It's uh, on your chest. Uh, so hard. It's just. A woman from. What is it? A woman from a past life who killed. A woman from a past who life killed me. Mm -hmm. Is she on your chest? Occupy that area. Mm -hmm. Can we talk to her today? Yes. All right. Would you allow me to do that now? Yes. Thank you. Allow me to bring that energy up and speak with it. Good morning. Hi. What are you doing there on Oksana's chest? Sucking your blood. Sucking your blood? Mm -hmm. Why are you Energy doing that? Energy from it. Why is that? Why do you feel the need to do that? You need to live. You need to live? I'm bad. You're bad. I need to turn the car off. Why is that? Away. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what your name is? Programmed for that to take power away. You're programmed that, to take power away? Who programmed you? Syrians. Syrians. Dead ones. They sent you? I was attached when she ran Okay. Do you have a name? It says Mona. Mona? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mona? Why is it that you need to have her energy to live? Why can't you have your own? She's good and bad. I feel jealous. Mm, you I feel jealous? I was created bad. To well, be one of those bad ones. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. But Mona, everybody was created eventually by the source. Look inside of you and see if you see a light inside of you. Maybe. Yes, I see a blue. Blue light. Mm hmm. Would this be the light of the blue flame? Yes, mm. looks like a flame. 
The blue, the blue light is very powerful. Did you know that? No. It is. And you're activated with a very powerful light of your own. I want you to expand that light yourself. Expand that blue flame. Allow it to take over all of your essence. Feel the power that you're getting from that flame. I see. How does it feel? I'm big. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you realize that that blue flame is a good flame? No. Mm -hmm. It is a good flame. You have your own power. She's like a snake. It's a black snake. Mm -hmm. So, Mona, you realize you have your own power. You have your own energy. You don't need to suck energy from anybody. Do you realize yes. how good you actually are? Yes. Mm -hmm. So do you need to be attached to Xana anymore? No. No, you can go off and do whatever you need to do. Where would you like to go? Light. Let's go to the light. Let me have you disconnect from her body. Go through her body and disconnect yourself. You don't need to be sucking any energy. You have this powerful light within. Can you imagine all this time you've wasted? Mona, now you can go to the light and be totally feeling wonderful. I'm below and big. And you're very big. I'm gone. Very. Sick. Gone. Mm -hmm. I'm purple now. You're purple. She saw me. Mm-hmm. I gave her purple color. Beautiful. I'm going to ask the angels of the white light and of the blue flame to take Mona directly to the light. Mona, tell me when you get there. I'm there. How does it feel? Very good. There's stars around. Beautiful. May the light of the universe accompany you, Mona. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And I'd like the angels that work with me to flood Oksana with that healing light. All of the area that was being sucked out by Mona, go ahead and flood her with that light so that she can heal. Let me speak with the higher self again. It's just the bathroom. All right. Oof. So in a moment, I'm gonna crazy. I'm gonna touch your shoulder, and you will open your eyes. And the next time, you'll go even deeper, being able to connect with your higher self. Eyes open. You're doing wonderful. That's fine. I think I saw this thing before, like in the beginning. Mm -hmm. She came in a bright purple, and then she was like this blue color mm -hmm. going. There and the slide and the taking stars. your taking your energy. I knew something was there. Do I have permission to speak with your higher self? Mm. Yes. Thank you. I know that you could have shown Oksana many different lifetimes today. Why did you choose? to tell her about the new earth and her rainbow energy. That's how she is. Mm. She needs to know it. Mm -hmm. It's her mission. Needs to know it. And must do it. Believe in herself. She's not that little as she thinks she is. She's a lot bigger than that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Should she be moving to Florida? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. She needs it. She needs it. For colors. Mm -hmm. she, uh, it will make her more powerful. Okay. The okay. colors of the plant. Any particular area in Florida that she should be at? She's thinking about the seashore, the ocean. Now it shows me 
arms crossed and red like not the no. shore. Not the shore. Middle, it says, keep saying middle, safe. Middle is in the is safe. Mm-hmm. She wanted the shore, though. Mm-hmm. She could visit, right? But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't go there. Go inland, where it's, it's yes. safer? Shows me some lots of trees around. It. Lots of trees. It's already chosen for me where. Mm hmm. Just keep looking and you'll feel the vibratory field where mm. you're supposed to live. Wonderful. Wonderful. What about for the other people that live in Florida? What would you have, like to tell them? You already live there. If you feel comfortable, you should be safe mm -hmm. because the circumstances, the guides, always working on your side to lead you to safety. Mm -hmm. You won't be there where, when and where it happens mm. because you already higher vibration. I see. You would not be touched. So you would find yourself in a safe place when, whenever it happens. Right. Mm -hmm. You would say kind sentence, but it's not. <laughs> So when you would go back, you couldn't go back to your home, but you would be safe. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. There's help. There's help. Yeah, I'll get you home. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. Very good. Just says, if you consider moving, stay away from the ocean for now. Okay. How far inland are we talking about? It shows me this. Uh, it just shows me a lot of woods, just trees, lots of mm -hmm. trees. And, uh, it doesn't give me the location. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, it keeps saying. Orlando, maybe is it? Mm -hmm. Maybe north but of Orlando. Because there's just some word keeps coming. It's just to know what it means. Keeps brook, some brook, brook. What is brook? Is it some location? What is it spelled like? Keeps. K, I, P. Yes. Kip. Kips Brook? Kips Brook? I have no idea what it is. Okay. I don't know Florida at all. Mm hmm. Very good. I don't know. She, she was asking about what planet she's from, and we saw Sirius. Is that where she is from? Yes, from that constellation. Mm hmm. And how many times has she reincarnated? No. It says no. No. First. This is her first life here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did she choose to come here for just research or for this healing? A lot of volunteers. A lot of volunteers. Did she choose to come here? Chose to volunteer. Okay. Calling from higher, from higher mind. Mm-hmm. And uh, wanted to live anyway, her planet. Okay. She wants to know if she cor she meditates correctly. Yes, but distracted with thoughts. Mm. Sometimes. How can she stop being distracted by her thoughts during meditation? Find. Uh, not in that bedroom. 
Not in the bathroom? Not in the bedroom. Not in the bedroom? Mm -hmm. Somewhere. Huh. Quiet room, no people. Mm -hmm. Even sleeping, no people. They mixes up energies. So. Hmm. so are we looking like maybe a closet? <laughs> um, it keeps telling me that I meditate on the room where mm -hmm. there's a, a child is asleep, you cannot meditate in that room. Mm. Child has its own field, vibration, light, mm -hmm. cannot mix up. You have to have space because it extends far beyond what you're saying. Mm -hmm. It's just not good for anybody for some reason to be close. It's your private, sacred space. Mm -hmm. It has to be a big space. A big space. That's why she needs to go to places like a park, mm -hmm. open space. An open space. She could ready better mm -hmm. to help others with the energy from meditation. Does it help to meditate in nature? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does yeah. nature give you anything? Power. To power. Vibration power. Mm -hmm. Light, you observe it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not distracted anymore. It it's like it absorbs you all in your mind. Mm -hmm. It's easier to turn off. So. Does it have to be a natural setting? For example, could you meditate next to a pool? If you don't have a lake nearby. No. Mm. Sit against a tree. Sit against tree gives you positive energy okay. and calmness. Mm -hmm. To calm. Very good. Does she have any karma or any unresolved issues? No karma mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. She's new here. She's new. But what about this Mona that was attached to her? That seemed to have been an unresolved issue. Past life, robotic involvement, it will force this place to her. Mm -hmm. When you are a robot, you cannot control. There's no emotions, mm -hmm. there's easier to attach, mm -hmm. no free will, no will, yeah. No will. So that's why Mona was attached to her? Yes. Okay. Good. Is there any other attachment that she has? Oh, some... It's just a stomach there. What's going on? She's really like a pore of grey. Water in the stomach area? Mm hmm What is that? Uh, it's, it keeps like... It's, it keeps saying like, Neem, no, um, no, Neem. What does it mean? Neil? Neil? What is this? Cray. Pouring bad stuff, it says. Mm -hmm. Distract from spiritual and physical pain. Mm -hmm. Is this a being or a thought form? What was, what was the reason that? This thought form from. A thought, thought form? form from your grandma. From her grandmother. Mm hmm. <sighs> Can we remove that from her? She didn't like her dip down for some, for some reason. Do we need to have the grandmother it's remove it? a child. It? Grandma's here, mm -hmm. it says. Can we speak to grandma so that she could take that thought form away? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to speak with her now? Yes, I'm mm. here, she says. Is this Lilia? 
No. Which one? Lady T. Yeah. Her father's grandma. Mm. What's your What's name? Her father's mother. What's your name? Lydia. Lydia. Lida. 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 Why is it that you have created this thought form? I was jealous. You were jealous. Because I only had this one son. Mm -hmm. But I never had a daughter. Mm -hmm. I desired and my son married a woman who he had a pretty daughter. And why would you be jealous of a granddaughter if it's all it's almost like a daughter you can treat her the same way? Why would you be jealous instead of loving? I don't know, it came from a sorrow of losing my husband. Mm. He was so young. I didn't know what to do with the energy mm. of sorrow. So you directed it at your granddaughter? Yes. Mm -hmm. It was nice to her at times, she knows. How do you feel about that now, now that you know her heart? I feel sorry. Mm -hmm. I observe her all the time. She's very nice. Mm -hmm. So let me speak with Oksana. Take a deep breath in. Oksana, what would you like to tell your grandmother now that you know that she was just jealous? Forgive her, she's not here anymore. Mm -hmm. I know she's good, she just didn't realize it. Mm -hmm. All right, take a deep breath in. Let me speak to Lida again. Lida, yes. are you ready to remove that from her stomach? Yes. All right, pull that out from her, please. And Oksana, I want you to go inside of your stomach and tell me what it looks like in there. Just a grey cup, mm. just like a glue stuff. Glue stuff. What would you like to use to remove that? Uh, some bright light. All right. Like white. Go ahead and start. Start shining that white light on there, and absorbing all of that that darkness. Yeah, mm. Tell me. It all. all right, let's take that vacuum, suck it all out. It destroys the cells of it. It's a living creature. It's like mm. a parasite. Mm-hmm. Attached. Go ahead and vacuum it out. Get all of it out. And Lida, please pull it from your end. I want you to disconnect all of those attachments that you have to her. Pull it out. And Oksana, tell me what it looks like from inside as she does that. It's close. It's glowing. Mm -hmm. White, sparkling white. Beautiful. Beautiful. The flower. Mm -hmm. The flower of life. Yes. Mm -hmm. White. Mm -hmm. Rays all around it sparkling. Beautiful. Lida, please take that with you. Yes. And I'm going to have Oksana give that vacuum cleaner with all of that substance from your grandmother. Give it to Archangel Michael. And I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to come in and heal that area. Shine his light on it and tell me what color the light is that is being shown in there. Light blue and purplish. Beautiful. Have all of that area be sealed with that beautiful healing light. Mm. Mm -hmm. Switches from purple to blue and back to force. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? It's very good. It's stopped pulsating the stomach. It's, it's pulsating. Stopped. It stopped. It it's was very badly pulsating before mm -hmm. it stopped. Mm -hmm. You feel relief? Yeah. Very good. Go ahead and put your rainbow hands on that area. Now well, they're already here. Mm -hmm. And activate the rainbow colors so that you can start exercising that energy beginning with your own body. Mm. It's pouring in. Mm -hmm. It's green now. It's 
healthy. Healthy. Mm -hmm. Purple light is calling, I think. See the angels wave. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let me speak with your higher self again. Yes. Can you tell me how that has helped her? Helped her tremendously because the fear of health, they installed it. The fear of health? Yes, that's mm. why she was afraid of living like her mother left. Mm -hmm. How many guides is she working with? Five. Five. Who was the angel that helped her when she miscarried? She keeps saying Michael all the Michael. time. Mm -hmm. He was very big. She didn't see the sword while I was there. Mm -hmm. What was the sword used for? To disconnect your mind mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. from that, what happened? Mm -hmm. Circle and give you hope. Mm -hmm. And my message to his message of hope. Yes. Who else works with her besides Michael? Who are her other guides? I keep saying Raphael all the time. Mm hmm. Any others? It says... It says mother, grandmas, grandmas observe. Mm-hmm. Mother's very active. Mm-hmm. Protecting and guiding, loving. Mm-hmm. Was it a past life that she saw when she was driving a car and hit a child? You're saying this is her first life here. Yeah, but it's a different... Did she get an imprint of somebody else? It's a different Earth. Different yeah. Earth? Mm-hmm. Is this her life, or did she... No, it's not ours. It's an imprint. She brought it with her? Yeah, it's... Uh, it wasn't even her, it's... Right. It doesn't come through like it's just... Not yours, it says not yours. It's mm -hmm. just give you phobia for driving. Okay, so why does she need that phobia? To protect her physical self. To protect herself. Well, she can be as much as in danger with anybody else. Mm. Why does she need this phobia anymore? Is it necessary? No. Would you disconnect that? Can I have Archangel Michael cut that life away from her? That phobia? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you remove that fear, that knowledge of that terrible incident that didn't belong to her? Yes, it's upgrading. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and upgrade her software without that information. Mm, wonderful, wonderful. Um, could you do a body scan on her, please? Um, what did you find? There's... There's just... Just like, um, um, like a little knot mm -hmm. tied up of like cords. Mm -hmm. Where is that? It's from that, it's from that lifetime of a robot thing. Mm -hmm. Where is this knot? It's on her body. It's like lower than the stomach. It's mm -hmm. just like. Where the uterus is. Are these the it's fibroids that she has? The little knots. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Those. Can we remove those, please? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are they fibroids or are they implants? She had them. They just never just. 
saw them. Mm -hmm. They grew, but there were seeds. Okay. I uh, they supposed to do something mm -hmm. to uh, calibrate her to make sure she can totally uh, live in a human body mm -hmm. just to balance because after being a robot you have to it's hard to adjust mm -hmm. to a human yes. to a human vehicle right mm -hmm. she doesn't need them anymore all right would you begin dissolving those fibroids while you calibrate her body yes that's why exciting now okay good is there any question that i didn't ask that you would like to express right now anything you'd like to tell her about i'd like to tell everybody that life is beautiful and in that 5d that there is just open yourself up to close yourself open yourself to love open yourself up and mm -hmm. don't pay attention to thoughts of people or it all circulating it's polluting the minds mm -hmm. to focus just remain focused on what you're doing and it's just like a flower she saw it's gonna open up and spread and open more and spread more light and then you are all of a sudden inside the flower mm -hmm. and you don't even know it but you realize at one point you are living that life you always wanted mm -hmm. you don't doubt anymore wonderful do you have a message for anybody else a message for me and just says, oh, but you're wonderful. <laughs> you're too funny. <laughs> <laughs> just continue. It's actually screaming at me. Uh -oh. Tell her to continue. She'll... She's opening up the hearts of every client. She opens the heart of, is connected to the other, will form a great, a brilliant light. Mm, beautiful. A grid of brilliant light. Yeah. Is, should I be traveling the world doing this? It screams travel now. Travel now? <laughs> yeah, it shows like it's rotating the earth like crazy. <laughs> Oh boy. The plane. Mm hmm. Flying, and it says fun on the plane, like it's a fun company. <laughs> I guess I need it's to get so a bigger funny. suitcase, huh? <laughs> it says for the crystals, yes. For the crystals? Yes. Yeah. Get a bigger suitcase so I can carry my crystals? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just too funny, I'll get back to me right now. Just so, like you're sitting on the plane with a big bubble head, it's just so funny. A bubble head? Yeah, like your head on the plane, sticking out, <laughs> waving at everybody, here I come. <laughs> I guess there's going to be some happy people hearing that. There's a lot of people all around the world, and it says that they're going to gonna all speak one language, language mm. of love and thought. Beautiful. That's it, I think. It says no more. It says too tired. Who's too tired? Anymore. Too tired? It Be says like no more. <laughs> mm. I don't know why. Good, good. Thank you so much for all the information you've given Oksana and me today. Thank you. It was nice to talk. Mm-hmm.
Very good. And show everything from different analogy and perspective mm -hmm. using the beautiful flowers. Those are from the universe, mm. the huge universe. Wonderful. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, so heavy. The head is like a rock. Your head is like a rock? It's supposed to be? No. Close your eyes again. Go right. deep. Go deep. Go deep. Uh, deep. Feel yourself going down. I'm going to put my hand on your head. Feel yourself giving me all of that heaviness. Allow yourself to just give me all of that heaviness. Feel it coming up through your head. All of that heaviness, feeling light as a feather, feeling light as a feather, bring it all out, give it to me. It's like I woke up. Mm -hmm. You woke up too fast. Because it was, I was cracking up. <laughs> I mean, you have a huge head sticking out of the airplane. I'm sticking my head out of the airplane. <laughs> it's just like one of the cartoons you see. <laughs> you, watch too many, you watch too many cartoons with your children. So how was this experience for you? Uh, yeah, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. How long do you feel you were on this journey? Just like you said. Um, how much does it feel? How much does it feel? Two hours, exactly. It's about exactly two hours. Oh. Well, your higher self is snitching on me. <laughs> it's giving you the time. Because <laughs> it's exactly know, two it's hours. A, yeah, it's... Uh, you just come through you. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. thinking, why am I saying this? Yes. It was yeah. one part, and then the other part is like, say it, say it. Yeah. yeah. That was your higher self. Yeah. So, is this something that you feel other people should do? I think, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. That's very empowering. I very think empowering. I felt. Mm -hmm. Now, I know we talked about yeah. a lot of personal stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Would you like to share the part about the new earth and that information with people? Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a little maybe different from others, but yet the same. But mm -hmm. he showed me in a different way. He kept like, I kept seeing these flowers. They're just huge and beautiful. And mm -hmm. I'm like basing in them, literally like an ocean of flowers. Like, Well, I don't know. Well, you was, know, the flower of life is what creates everything. I saw that in my meditation, too. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. inside there was just like... Yeah, yeah. This is the second session this weekend that I have about those flowers. Really? Yeah. Oh. Exactly like you just said. So it's very interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Uh-huh. And now I'm thinking, I was obsessed with the flowers, too, and... My, you were obsessed with the flowers? In one of the dreams, I saw them, and then... I was thinking, ah, oh, just because I went to some tropical locations, I like <laughs> the flowers, you know? Well, apparently the flower is what... is something very important. Yeah. Good, so let's sit up and so we can say goodbye. So you're saying you're feeling a little funny? <laughs> Tell me how you feel. Oh, um, like I woke up from a long journey of some sort, like, like I've been on the plane for 14 hours, going to a plane, and then you feel like you have a life. Well, you, you have been traveling quite a bit, and saw me flying, sticking my head out of a bubble in an airplane, flipping <laughs> <laughs> around the world. <laughs> so, That's too funny, yeah. tell, tell everybody what it felt like to have the higher self speak through you. Um, it actually was very powerful because it screamed. It kept <laughs> screaming when I would doubt say for a second. I would doubt to say that. I was like, that doesn't make sense. And then once it starts saying, it doesn't make sense, don't say it. Then he screams, and, okay, okay. You know, that's what I felt. Mm -hmm. like, oh, so did, you to say did you feel it with male or female energy? It was male. It male. was very strong. Yeah. Yeah. You, you are the one who you know, your mission keeps saying this in my head, like in my left ear, like somebody was standing there and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, what about, what about your, uh, you had a connection also with Michael? 
did you get any information from Michael? Or did you see anything? Um, well, it's funny, I, I saw him standing next to his father and he was just this bright light. So, now that you've had this experience, oh, we're mm -hmm. in Chicago, by the way. <laughs> I have traveled to Chicago. Yeah. How would you explain this whole thing? Um, it's just something you need to know and to feel to empower yourself and to be more sure of yourself. Like, if you have any issues with self esteem or any issues with telling your ego not to interfere and tell you you're so powerless, like everybody else does, mm -hmm. then you need to do that. And that's what really allowed me here. I felt like something was constantly interfering with my knowledge. And how do you feel now that we get these, we got Mona? I, <laughs> that's just so silly. That was wild, huh? Unbelievable. I just saw this black thing. It, it felt so true, and it is true, I know that. But it's just like, after this, you wake up like it's a dream, but it's not a dream, you know it. You feel that's just like what you said, but I'm glad I did because I, I truly do know it's true. It's just the feeling just seems strange. Nothing like happened, but I was here for two hours. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. So if you would like a session with me, you can look me up on my website, albawyman.com. I do travel like I'm doing right now in Chicago. So you can just go to my out of town page and sign up for the mailing list and you'll see where I'm going to next. And I have an out of town calendar also that you'll see. You can sign up there. Yeah, that's how we all did. I know. It was great. <laughs> all right. Until the next time. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.